any areas of, of, of concern, any items that we may find that, that might be close to the pipeline that, that could could become an issue basically, uh, items of concern, you know, stuff that could uh, hit the pipeline. Um, and then we're also looking for spans, basically any area where the pipeline is, is not currently supported that may need additional support. What are the kind of things, objects that can hit the pipeline? Under the, these well, depths? I mean, there's really nothing down there that, that can hit the pipeline. There's larger objects we've, we've seen like uh, big clay mounds and, and stuff like that. But um, typically in a, in a case like this, maybe you might see cable or rope that would you know, become entwined or wrapped around. That's stuff that we want to get cleared right away. How quickly could repairs be done if a problem is found? Uh, very, very quickly. We, uh, we have a relationship with a fleeting contractor 20 miles from here. Um, they have all the necessary marine equipment that we would need to actually get out on site. And then we have uh, full commercial uh, diving operations where we could get somebody, somebody uh, to, the, to the area rather quickly within probably a week. Well, the lifespan of, uh, of any engineering infrastructure is really indefinite as long as it's maintained in a way that keeps it at the, the level that we want it to be. So what we're seeing on this line is that it really is as good as new. It, it uh, can go on operating indefinitely in this way as long as we continue to apply the programs that we're applying. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, a, little, a little nicer today than it was yesterday. <laughs> it's six foot waves yesterday? Uh, yeah, it was three to five. Case <laughs> seven. Excuse me. Yeah, we were, we were getting past the pretty good. survey you want to go low and slow which is as close to the pipeline as possible and as slow as possible so you can get a very dense data set.